In today's video, I'll be looking at my top three tips to save money on camera gear as a new filmmaker. So you're a new filmmaker, or maybe you've just started your own YouTube channel. Either way, you're probably like me and absolutely addicted at looking at camera gear, be it expensive red cameras or shiny little cool accessories like little LED lights. Either way, you can't have enough of this stuff. But the problem is it's all crazy expensive. So what we wanted to do was share a quick video with you, just the top three tips we've learned over the years to help you save money on some of that awesome camera gear. Now first up is step up rings. Now step up rings or step up adapters as they're sometimes called do one really simple job. And that's to essentially change the filter thread size on the front of your lenses, allowing you to attach a larger variable ND filter to your lens. All this means, and it's really simple, is that you only have to buy the variable ND filter or polarizing filter that you want once and it will fit every single lens you own. So our advice to you here is to buy the best quality and the biggest ND filter that you can afford. This should be an 82 millimeter thread and that is because, well, that's the biggest filter thread size you can get. Once you've got a filter that's bigger than all of your lenses, you know that using the step up rings will mean it can attach to every single one of your lens which will potentially save you hundreds of pounds because a good quality filter is very expensive. Now we've bought the step up rings from KNF Concept. They cost literally around 15 pounds. You can get these from a whole host of manufacturers and they will vary in quality and price accordingly. But for 15 pounds, these work perfectly well for us. And when you consider that at 15 pounds, we're potentially saving hundreds on the back end by not having to buy a filter for every single lens. This is quite an important investment for you. Next up is lens mount adapters. Now inevitably in your filmmaking journey, you're gonna end up buying more than one camera. I hope so anyway. And what you'll find as you start owning more and more bodies is that the lens mounts on those cameras will be different. So suddenly the cost of ownership for having multiple DSLR cameras goes up and up and up because you're having to buy, maybe it's a Canon EF lens for one camera and an EF M lens for another, or maybe it's a micro four thirds for a different camera over here. There's literally dozens of different lens mount combinations out there. So once you get into the world of multiple cameras, you're starting to run into multiple thousands of pounds just to have lenses for them all. Now what a lens mount adapter will do, and it seems pretty obvious, but it'll allow you to use your existing glass on your new camera body. We've got two examples here. One will allow us to use our Canon EF glass on a micro four thirds camera. And the other will allow us to use our Canon EF glass on Canon's mirrorless range, the EF-M. These adapters are a fraction of the cost of new lenses, around probably 10% of one single lens. So using them for us has literally saved us hundreds, if not thousands of pounds in being able to use our Canon glass on all our cameras. Now a word of caution when using lens mount adapters, the cheaper ones like you see in front of me here aren't what you call smart adapters. Essentially all that means is they don't communicate electronically between the camera body and the lens itself. So things like autofocus or auto aperture are disabled when using a mounted adapter. You can of course buy more expensive smart adapters that will allow you to use autofocus and control the aperture of the body. They are significantly more expensive than something like the KNF Concept which only costs around £15 but they still represent an incredible investment and saving in the long term. So in short, if you're looking at buying multiple camera bodies, also look at getting lens mount adapters for them so you can continue using your existing or maybe your favorite glass with them. Now last up is memory cards. Now this is definitely not very sexy or exciting, but it's an important, maybe cautionary tale that we need to tell. It also will sound a little counterintuitive when I do give my tip because what I'm about to tell you actually seems like I'm telling you to spend more money. Our advice here is to buy the best quality, most expensive branded SD cards or CF cards that you can afford. Anyone that's been making films for any length of time would have fallen foul of this at some point and that is buying cheap, maybe non-branded SD cards online. For us, we did it when we were making a week-long documentary. We bought a bunch of cheap SD cards thinking it'd be okay and on the shoot, they one by one failed on us. We had corrupted files, we even had cameras that wouldn't read or write to the card in the end. 
which meant that we had to go out and quickly buy replacements. But in the shoot, that cost us a lot of time, it cost us footage, and it inevitably would have cost us money. If we had just bought decent quality branded SD cards from the off, we would have saved having to buy them twice. Now the other issue that you may run into, and this is what happened to us on that documentary shoot, is buying fake SD cards. We didn't know we were doing it, we were just buying them online from somewhere that we thought was reputable, but in the end, the card turned out to be a fake labeled as a SanDisk. It is an issue that's quite ripe online, so really just buy with a bit of caution, make sure you read the reviews if you're buying online, or even better, go in store and buy them yourself. But in short, always buy the best quality branded SD cards that you can afford. It will save you a huge amount of time, stress, and money in the long run. This really is probably the most important tip in this video. So that's been my top three tips on how to save money as a new filmmaker. It's far from exhaustive, but hopefully you can take something useful away from this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.